Good morning, folks. We've got big earthquakes, weather woes, top science news, and more, but we're starting, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're seeing the last 24 hours on our star were quiet once again. There are still no sunspots, no solar flares, or CMEs launched in Earth's direction. Solar wind is quiet, and geomagnetic conditions are as well. The incoming corona hole may give us a tiny jolt to the solar wind in the coming days, but as we heard in yesterday's news... Phi angle in blue is like your solar wind crystal ball. The return of IMF flow from sun to earth in the last few hours indicates that we are taking the coronal hole outgoing fields. That means we've got another earthquake watch coming up. Been a bit since we heard that, but the next uptick should be at hand. And that's pretty much how the ebb and flow of magnitude 6 seismicity goes. 6.8 in Greece, 6.2 in Mariana. Top weather event of the last day was a flash flood in Jordan. These images don't show the worst of it where a bus was taken off this ledge by the waters. 19 confirmed lost their lives. Let's go to the science next and begin with Hubble's look at Cassiopeia, the ghost nebula. Toggling between optical and infrared wavelengths, we get an interesting look into the structure of the sheath and then the pretty light she wears at different frequencies. Up next, exoplanets. What are they made of? How does this differ from Earth and what causes the differences in composition? Turns out it's the star and starting conditions, no real shock there. Turns out, however, that some systems may be ultra-low on the heavy metals. Good article linked for you below. And now for the earthquake science. Scientists have begun to tie recent small quakes near Cascadia to breaks at the bottom of the crust, where it transitions into the mantle. All this in the name of trying to figure out the big one before it strikes the northwest. Speaking of quakes striking the Americas, Turns out that the Mexico 8.2 last year struck in such a way as to make greater risk looking further ahead, implicating perhaps an even larger rumble is due for the region. By the way, the concept that it was unexpected might be disputed by those who actually forecasted the region as red alert the night before, but that is another story. Two final stories here. EU continues leading the way in the battle against those who would play God with DNA. Gene editing takes the same strict marks as genetic modification. The article is about how scientists are whining, while I'm pretty sure most of you are giving a golf clap and a smile. Lastly, folks, a bit on citizen science initiatives. I'll remind you that this is the most watched citizen scientist group on Earth. It's one of the top three largest and by far, in a way, the most successful. We greatly appreciate your support. We couldn't have done any of it without you. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.